<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to talk about a more expensive, but I think it's a better solution when it comes to the Wii to the HDMI dongle solution. When I was making some videos about some light gun features, also playing some old school Nintendo Wii sports, I noticed people were asking me how do I get such an amazing signal. And when I pointed out in my main video about the Wii to HDMI dongle, people were also asking me about the, the Mayflash HDMI solution. Because this thing is way more expensive, but this thing actually worth our money. That is what we're going to do in comparison with all the other devices. I will use an HD video converter or better said upscaling the old school signal. We're having the Wii 2 HDMI and we're going to use the Mayflash and also we're going to put them side by side just to see and hear what are the differences. Okay, so these dongles are a couple of dollars, but before you're going to pick one up, you just need to know a couple of things. First of all, the Nintendo Wii comes in a couple of different versions. So this is just your first generation with the GameCube port. But there are also different versions that come without the GameCube port. So far I have tested, the two versions will have the support for the HDMI dongle. So that is not going to be any problem. But take consideration, this version doesn't have the GameCube port, so we cannot play GameCube games, far as I know. But there was another version that's called the Wii Mini. And making these videos, it's pretty damn awesome, but I couldn't use my HDMI dongle. Doesn't matter which version I tried, it doesn't work. It doesn't give any signal to my monitor. So take consideration the Wii Mini isn't supported with one of these dongles that I'm going to review here on the channel. Okay, so when you're looking at the cables, there are basically three options you can go or four, depends how you look at it. So first of all, we're going to get the old composite cable that we can use on a CRT and an LCD, depending if your TV, especially the LCDs nowadays, are still having an option for this because this cable is basically absolute and don't need it. So then we're going to get the component cable, we're going to get more plugs, but the problem is like not every single TV has this option to. I also noticed like with my new generation televisions, we don't have the component solution. So it's a little bit of a bummer, so even this is possible, you cannot even use on your modern television. And then of course we're going to get ourselves the HDMI solutions, and we're going to focus on these two, the Wii 2 HDMI, the cheap ones from AliExpress. I needed to have an upscaler or some kind, simply because I don't have another way to hook it up to my HDMI card. So we're going to use the old school cable with the HD video converter. This is just an easy way for me to show you how is the video quality. Also if it's going to be upscaled to 720p or 1080p with this converter. I just want to give you an idea. So these converters, I've been using them for quite a long time now. Not for like being a hardcore gamer retro, but it's like an easy solution. So if you just want to have another cheap solution, this may be an option for you. But you will still like upscale an old school signal. And later on we'll show you what I mean with that. But the Wii 2 HDMI converters. So far I know that, like there are two versions, the black and the white. And to be honest, there's just a color difference, nothing else. There was not like a pro version or one that has more options. So what you need to take consideration is that you're just going to have different color Wii systems and you can maybe find the one that match your system better. Okay, so we're going to get with the connections. We're going to get the original connection port over here and then we're going to get the option for an HDMI out and an audio out or better said, a jack out. Last but not least, of course, we're going to have the Wii to HDMI from Mayflash that I think is almost like four times the price of the cheap one from Aliexpress and also like it's tiny compared with the length. So I'm curious how good this thing will be and we're going to see it in the side by side comparison. But okay, so is this thing actually worth four times the money? That is what I want to find out today. So the Nintendo Wii still has a lot of great games and a lot of good titles that I love to play. So the HDMI will be a great solution. We're also going to test out some GameCube games and what I'm going to do, I will put, let's say, the old school signal next to the HDMI. I will at least see you, but also like listen what are the differences between these. But okay, the first thing that we need to do is going to the Wii settings. And the reason why is very simple. If you want to use the HDMI dongle with the best signal out, we need to go to the display settings. So guys, everything has been set to the Dutch language, but you get the point. The position of the option will be the same. So here we're going to set to the HD television 480p. And the next option that we need to check out is the aspect ratio. 
Okay, so for round one, of course, again, this card cable. And this card cable, even upscaled, it's still horrible and it looks all washed out. And I think that is not a great way to play the Wii. Okay, so next up, we're going to have the cheap Wii 2 HDMI. It looks okay, a little bit of a bummer because my capture card didn't like pick up this distortion I had when I was looking at the screen. And then we're going to get the Mayflash HDMI solution. And personally, I think this signal looks the best. If you're going to put them side by side, you will see it instantly like the Mayflash looks better. So let's grab a game and I will show you what I mean. All right, so first off, the card again. You can see everything looks kind of washed out. I don't like the colors. It's very sharp and bright. So when you can see the Wii 2 HDMI, this one looks very nice and everything looks more balanced when it comes to the colors. But look when you're checking out the Mayflash HDMI. In my opinion, this looks way better. So let's grab ourselves a GameCube game. And the first game, of course, with this card, everything looks kind of washed out. To be honest, I think the signal, it's not the best, but it's not super worse. I have seen some shitty signals. The Wii 2 HDMI looks slightly sharper, but look at the decal when you're having the May Flash. It looks so much sharper. And in my opinion, the May Flash is absolutely the winner when it comes to the picture quality. But how is it when you're putting them side by side? Okay, so this is basically what we're going to get between the three signals. So let's hear the audio because also there we're going to get some difference. <laughs> Nowadays there are so many ways you can play with an HDMI cable on your Wii. But when you're going to put them all side by side, there we're going to see quite a lot of differences. And yeah, in my opinion, the Mayflash is still one of the best ways to go. But it is four times the price of the Wii to HDMI dongle. And that's the question, do you want to spend the extra money for this, I can say, minor improvement? Because the minor improvement I think is worth it, better visual, but also better audio. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, let me know in the comments what are your experiences with these upscaler Mayflash or the way to HDMI and it will be great to see you in the next video. Mm.